Capricorn, it's Nicola. So this is your weekly read. This will be for July the 20th through July the 26th. We're going to be pulling from the Gods and Goddesses Oracle deck to see what lessons you have for the week. What lessons do we have for the week? For? Okay, so we got two. <laughs> so the first one we have is Kalima. Y'all, I'm tripping. I'm sorry. <laughs> the first one we have is Kalima, which is the Goddess of Destruction. And the blessings you have are purification of subtle force centers, ascension of the divine kundalini energy, happiness and fulfillment in this world, and divine ecstasy of the transcendent reality. Okay? This is a, a deity that I hold very dear to my heart. And we also have Ganja. So this is the goddess of heavenly ambrosia. And the blessings you have from this goddess is purification from sin, pacification of worldly desires, that's good. Liberation at time of death and remedy for physical disease. All right. So let's see what we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages, what guidance do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for July 20th through July 26th. 2020. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. This is for July 20th, July 21st, July 22nd, July 23rd, July 24th, July 25th, July 26th, 2020. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What message? What guidance do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Ooh, six of cups here so i do feel like there's some emotional adjustments made that could be being made some of you guys this could be dealing with someone from your past something from your past could also be dealing with children okay with the star energy here i feel like for a lot of you guys you could be gaining wish fulfillment okay could be some star children all right so let's see what messages we have Monday, we have the Emperor. So, it could be dealing with an Aries, but I also got um, Star Energy for Aquarius. For some of you guys, you could be in a space of gaining control, setting some structures, some boundaries within your life. Okay. So, Tuesday, we have Three of Swords. Whew. If you are setting structures, you're breaking somebody's heart, or you could feel betrayed. For a lot of you guys, you could be putting your will in motion, especially if your intention is to create some sort of distance from someone. Wednesday, we have the Ten of Swords here. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been betrayed. Ten minus three is seven swords. Someone may have lied to you, deceived you, betrayed you. You're setting boundaries to that situation, embracing the end of difficulties. Yeah, death. there's definitely a transformation that is happening here. That is happening here. So not a sword. Some of you guys, I feel like there is some anxiety, okay? Could be in a space of having some fears, Chariot here could be dealing with some cruelty. Chariot here, Cancer and Energy, you could be in a space of finding your motivation um, to move toward victory. Queen of Pentacles here could be dealing with Earth sign, or this could be you, Capricorn. Um, Queen of Pentacles is usually Virgo Energy, but it could be any Earth sign. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be in a space of nurturing a foundation, maybe looking at something sensibly, um, compassionately. All right, so let's see what messages we have. I mean, let's see what, what clarification we have. Emperor here. There we go. So let's see. Why is this emperor here for Monday for Capricorn? We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. So for some of you guys, I feel like you're not confident about a situation. Um, with this three of swords, I mean three of pentacles here. For some of you guys, I feel like no. It's not that I don't feel like you're not confident. This could be a work situation. Um, you could be cooperating with someone. This is like not working alone. So some of you guys could be working with someone to help create some sort of structure or boundaries. You could be becoming business partners with someone. So this is like creating some sort of partnership alone. I like this. Ace of Cups here now. Um, this could lead to some emotional fulfillment. For a lot of you guys, this could be a partnership that is based in love. Maybe there you're deciding to create some sort of structure to something. Um, this could be a masculine energy, a divine masculine energy that could be in the space of losing his physical independence. Not saying um, like being tied down in any way, but maybe there could have been a, this sort of 
I'm I'm alone in this. Maybe you're no longer alone. Alone. Maybe there's a partnership that brings some sort of emotional fulfillment for you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been at a stalemate to a source, but I feel like you're putting an end to that stalemate. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is not so much about singlehood, but I feel like I feel like you are becoming this sort of I don't know if this is a powerhouse or you're just in the space of really gaining control and taking action within your life. All right. So let's see what we have for Tuesday. I, I feel like that. I feel like you're gaining control, but I'm going to be real with you. I feel like you're not, whatever you're doing, you're not doing it alone. This is like a team effort. So three of swords here. Why is this three of swords here? We got, yeah, this is some responsibilities. You're making adjustments to some responsibilities, severing some sort of connections, will of fortune, causing a growth. Page of Cups here. I feel like there is either a new person or a new investment here. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, there may be some some responsibilities to something that may be severed or you could feel betrayed and really feeling as though you want to grow and move away from a situation make some adjustments justice here um for some of you guys i feel like whatever's happening whether it feels good or not is it's justice um it's meant to happen yeah so i do feel like for a lot of you guys there's a change to a foundation you might lose out in some way shape or form based off of someone either lying or betraying you Ten Swords here. I feel like there's a difficult situation that is going to end. Page Prince of Swords because you're going to move forward. Queen of Wands. I feel like you're asserting yourself. Moving up. Six of Wands. Moving in a new direction. So you are asserting yourself. I feel like you're overcoming your ego in regards to something. And I feel like because of whatever deception you felt or whatever instabilities you have within your thoughts. I feel like that is ending. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you're starting to see the bigger picture. And even in the past, I feel like whatever happened in the past, you're seeing why it happened now. So death card here. We have the seven of wands here with the moon. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, the, the what's the transformation here is someone's resisting being in the dark about something. Someone's resisting being a secret. Someone's resisting being scared. Um, Queen of Cups here with the lover's card and the ten of wands. Someone's making devil card someone's making a decision to lay down some burdens some oppressions really nurturing their emotions i feel like someone's coming into their own dominion so you could be coming into your own dominion going through this transformation um i do feel like there's some anxiety because things are changing no doubt but i feel like the transformation is necessary why is this not a sword here i feel like you got to overcome you got to get out your head is what it looks like yeah so three of swords here with the lust card again for some for a lot of you guys you feel betrayed and it's fucking with your ego. So it's creating some anxiety. Uh, or some of you guys, maybe you're dealing with some internal sorrow trying to heal. So you could be healing from things of the past, situations in the past that you've dealt with. Judgment here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, because if you are like getting over triggers or getting over healing from the past, you're having to overcome your ego and your ego is based in your anxiety. So for a lot of you guys, you're just overthinking shit and you really need to get out of your head and see the bigger picture. This is what you want. So we have chariot here. Why is this cancerian energy here? Why is chariot here? All right. So we have the nine of cups here, the empress here, the eight of pentacles and the so some of you guys have found your motivation to really invest in your desires. I feel like there now you could be dealing with the, a Cancerian energy, could be dealing with a Taurus Libra energy here, but with the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you're happy to invest in your desires, are happy to invest in what you want moving forward. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's because you've had some anxiety previously. I feel like you're overcoming that anxiety and you're really moving toward again what you want. I feel like you're starting to see the bigger picture. Queen of Pentacles here. Now this could definitely be you in a space of looking at a situation, nurturing a situation. Seven of Swords here, Two of Pentacles here, and with the Tower. So some of you guys, I feel like that there's a positive change that's happening. I feel like you're looking at a situation sensibly. Some of you guys, you could have been dealing with some, some deception. Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. It could have been some lies. Magician here, Virgo, Gemini energy could have been dealing with one of those um, signs. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really manifesting a new foundation. You're manifesting some changes because you're going through this revelation, this 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 sort of 
awareness and I feel like the awareness is that you have to get away from unstable situations so I feel like you're very much in the space of manifesting or nurturing your manifestations by escaping unstable situations some of you guys are escaping unstable situations or if you've been in a space of being unstable within yourself you're no longer doing that you're you're becoming more compassionate and really in a space of, of making more making better or more compassionate decisions so what messages, what guidance do we have moving forward for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages, what guidance do we have moving forward for Capricorn? Okay. We got Nurturing here. We got Desert Quest. So some of you guys are nurturing. Your big, you're nurturing your vision. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a rebirth that's happening. You may be in a space of feeling vulnerable, but I feel like within this vulnerability, you find your true essence. So for a lot of you guys, like I said, you're nurturing your vision. You're really nurturing where you want to grow or nurturing how you want to grow moving forward. This is all I have. Until next time.